Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Grenfell Tower Fire The Grenfell Tower Fire occurred on 14 June 2017, at the 24-story Grenfell Tower, a block of public housing flats in North Kensington, London, England, killing at least 17 people. The The Grenfell Tower fire occurred on 14 June 2017, at the 24-story Grenfell Tower, a block of public housing flats in North Kensington, London, collapse, evacuated out of concerns that the tower could collapse. Though the building At the time of the fire, by the afternoon of the 14th of June, 12 had been confirmed dead. With more fatalities expected to be reported, police spoke of around 200 residents and a lot unaccounted for. The number of dead was increased to 17 the following day. 65 were rescued by firefighters. 74 people were confirmed to be in five hospitals across London. 20th With more fatalities expected to be reported, police spoke of around 200 residents and a lot unaccounted for. The number of dead was increased to 17 the following day. It is not yet known. The mayor of Lonely a catastrophic fire would finally force instructions telling people to stay in their flats in particular. Since 2013 the residents' organization, Grenfell Action The Blocks Management to treat fire precautions and maintenance of fire-related seven one of the Lancaster approving its construction in 1970 as part of phase one of the Lancaster West Redevelopment Project. Contractors A. E. Symes of Leighton, London commenced construction in West Redevelopment Project. Contractors A. E. Symes, of Leighton, London commenced construction and Chelsea Tenant Management Organisation, the largest tenant management organisation in England, on behalf of Ken the largest tenant management organisation in England, on behalf of Kensington and Chelsea Council. The TMO has a board comprising eight composite cladding, with thermal insulation. The work was carried out by Harley Facades of Crowborough, East Sussex, at a cost of £2.6 million. was completed in 2016. As part of the project, in 2015-2016, the concrete structure received new windows and new aluminium references to the refurbishment from its website. They had been involved in safety concerns prior to the fire, with criticism levelled against the Kensington and Chelsea London Borough Council
told otherwise and also that the front doors for each unit could survive a fire for up to 30 minutes. The May 2016 newsletter had a similar message, adding that it was on the advice of the fire brigade. The smoke detection systems have been Stay put policy stays in force until you are told otherwise and also that the front doors for each unit could survive a fire for up to 30 minutes. Group published a blog in which it highlighted The fire brigade will arrive very quickly if a fire is reported. Grenfell Action Group GAG documented its attempts to contact KCTMO management. had not been checked for up to four years, on-site fire extinguishers had expired, and some had the word condemned written on them, being and property, but said they never received a reply from him or his deputy. In January 2016 Gag warned that people might be trapped in the building if a fire broke out, pointing out that the building had only one entrance and exit and corridors that were allowed to be filled with rubbish. Gag frequently cited other fires in tower blocks when it warned of the hazards at Grenfell. In November 2016 Gag ran accusing the Borough Council of ignoring health and safety laws and practices at Grenfell Tower. The group had also published articles criticizing fire safety and maintenance practices at Grenfell Tower. Fire is visible on the and fire. Fire. fire is visible on the fire engines attempted to control the blaze and rest for 14 officials from the metropolitan police urgently instructed them to contact anyone they knew who was trapped in the building if they are able to reach them via phone or social media, to tell them they must try to self-evacuate and not wait for the fire brigade. Firefighters entered the building to try to rescue people, but reported they were hindered by the extreme heat. and urgently instructed them to contact anyone they knew who was trapped in the building, if they are able to reach them via phone or social media, to tell them they must try to self-evacuate and not wait for the fire brigade. Fire were jumping out. At least one person used heard. After three hours, the original crew of firefighters were by sunrise. The firefighters were still battling the fire and trying to spray areas. Thing were heard. After three hours, the original crew of firefighters were replaced by a new crew. By sunrise, the firefighters were still battling the fire and trying to spray areas where people were seen trapped.
the watching crowd were pushed back from the building because of falling debris. At 5 o'clock, the building, because of falling debris, at 5 o'clock, the building was still burning and severely damaged. The fire continued to burn on the tower's upper floors into the afternoon of the 14th of June. Firefighters were expecting and that rescue teams could enter it to search for survivors and casualties. Casualties By 5 o'clock BST, police reported that several people were being treated for smoke inhalation. The London Ambulance Service sent 20 ambulances inhalation. The London Ambulance Service sent Cotton reported that there were fatalities resulting from the fire. Fatalities resulting from the fire. But she could unprecedented incident. In my 29 years of being a fire anything of this scale. Residents who escaped claim to have heard other. Who escaped claim to have heard other. Councillor Nick Paget Brown, the leader of the Kensington and Chelsea London Borough Council, said he was attempting to find out how many people were in the building at the time of the fire. People trapped and screaming for help. Councillor Nick Paget Brown, the leader of the Kensington and Chelsea London Borough Council, said he was attempting to. There were six people confirmed dead and more than 70 in hospital, with 20 in critical condition. Cause 4. The number of dead was increased to 12. have been caused by a faulty appliance. The cause of the fire has not yet been determined. Several media outlets reported that it may have been caused by a faulty appliance. A fourth floor resident told the media that it was his neighbor's refrigerator that caught fire around 1 a.m. and that they immediately began knocking on doors to alert people. He said that within half an hour the building was in much criticism of the lack of fire sprinkler systems, Jeff Wilkinson. The building regulations colonies, suggesting poor overall management. Criticism Some residents said no fire alarm People screaming for help Or knocks on the door and not by them. Others reported that they survived By ignoring the council's stay put policy Its directive instructing residents to remain in their flat in case of fire Wide Radical Housing Network, a citizens' action, group of groups, fighting for housing justice across London, of which the Grenfell Action Group is a member, said that the fire was a horrific, preventive The London Wide Radical Housing Network, a citizens' action, group of groups, fighting for housing the homes they live in. Dawn Foster, contributing editor on housing for The Guardian, posited that this was an atrocity that was explicitly political and a symbol of the United Kingdom's deep inequality.
Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, told BBC Radio 4 that he wanted an answered. We have lots of people in London living in tower blocks. We can't have people's lives being put. Noting, these are some of the questions that have to be answered. We have lots of people in London living in tower blocks. We can't have at risk because of bad or blocks had been shelved for four years. Barwell had been due to meet the all-party parliamentary fire safety and rescue group to discuss the review in 2017, but the meeting was postponed after the snap general election was called, and he was a Well came to office a review into the fire safety regulations had been outstanding for years. John Healy called, Healy called, for an immediate fire safety review of tower blocks. What it really needs now is any a cabinet minister to show they're getting a grip on this and reassuring tenants in other tower blocks that they will get to the bottom of the problem. for a very senior cabinet minister to show they are getting a possible cause of the rapid spread of the fire. Experts said the cladding essentially worked like a chimney in spreading the fire. The cladding could be seen burning and melting causing additional speculation that it was not made of fire-resistant material. 1M stands for aluminium composite material. To install an ACM rain screen over clad during the recent refurbishment. Jatawa building fires that saw flames spreading unusually quickly have involved flammable aluminium composite cladding, among A fire in Rubaix, France, the 2014 La Crosse Tower fire in Melbourne, Australia, and the 2015 fires in Dubai at the Marina. Months. The 2014 La Crosse Tower fire in Melbourne, Australia, and the 2015 fires in Dubai. At the Marina Torch and the address. concern amongst residents and fire safety experts about the increasing use of timber, even in high-rise buildings. Concern amongst residents and fire safety experts about the increasing use of timber, even in high-rise buildings in the surrounding area. Relations. It was reported that one reason for the new cladding was to improve the view for people living in the surrounding area. Buildings in countries including Britain, France, the UAE, and Australia. An application for demolition Demolition work was submitted to the authority, and marked with a status of completed, not approved.
No decision date had been entered as of the 14th of June 2017. By the 4th of September 2014, a building regulations notice domestic buildings as Labour MP Harriet Harman told the BBC's The World at One. Councils want to fit sprinklers in their tower blocks, but it comes for large, complex buildings and should only be used on small, simple domestic buildings. Short term maintained the government should encourage providers of how Following the 8th of June general election, which resulted in no overall majority and announcement of an agreement between the Conservatives and DUP. According to the BBC, Community Response Toys and clothes were made. St. Clement Church on Treadgold Street and St. James Church, Norlands, in the deanery of Kensington, provided shelter. Donations of food, water, toys, and clothes were made. St. Clement Church on Treadgold Street and St. James Church, Norlands, in the deanery of Kensington, provided shelter. For people evacuated from their homes, as did nearby mosques and temples. Nearby Queen's Park Rangers clothing from the local community and other nearby football. The Queen has said that her thoughts and prayers are with the affected families. Prime Minister, Fire Minister, and a meeting with the Civil Contingencies Secretariat. London Mayor Sadiq Khan Theresa May said she was saddened and called for a cross-government meeting, chaired. The local borough are pledged to carry out a full investigation into the fire. Prime Minister Investigations The local borough are pledged Theresa May ordered a full public in Thank you for watching. Please like Please like and subscribe below. and subscribe below.